Hello, Bill Adams, Coldwell Banker Realty here with you again. Hey, today I'm with Rod Hughes, owner of Profarazzi Photography, uh, making memorable experiences for over 10 years in photography. Hey, Rod, How you doing? welcome today. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for joining us. Hey, so why don't we start out by you telling me a bit about your business? Well, I'm a uh, photographer. I also do videography and we have uh, photo booths. I have a 360 spin booth and a standard photo booth. So pretty much anything photography. We do majority weddings and senior pictures, but we shoot anything. Product, um, bar mitzvahs, baby showers, anything that needs to be captured. Like our slogan is, we don't take pictures, we capture memories. There you go. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So how did you get into the business? Funny you asked it. I used to do music. And I'm very impatient. So if I call you to do something for me and you take too long, I'll figure it out. So I was waiting on a guy to do a photo shoot and I'll shoot a video actually. And he was taking just, just dragging his feet. And I always knew how to edit, but I never really had the video camera. So I ordered a camera just to shoot our videos. Uh -huh. And I happened to, it was an actual uh, DSLR. So we took pictures too. And I did a photo shoot for my sister just playing around. Uh -huh. Posted on Facebook and people went nuts. People start inboxing me like, hey, how much you try for photo shoots? And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I'm just being honest. So I did the first photo shoot for free. Another lady, she was a model. It came out perfect. I mean, every picture, perfect. Did another one. Every picture was terrible. Every mm -hmm. picture, she looked at orange. See, I had the eye, but I didn't know the technical part. So I didn't know when the sun shift. I got to drop the ISO. You know what I mean? So with that, I started studying the camera. Mm -hmm. I went to this college you might know of. It's called YouTube University. They get free tuition. And they just give you all the information about my camera. So I studied my camera and just took off. And it actually, once the camera started paying more than the mic, I left music alone and went to, went to photography. Now, most of the time, we booked a year in advance. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it's sort of interesting because so many people that I interview, mm -hmm. they, I, I wouldn't say stumble into the business, they sort of fall in or they, yeah. they, you know, just stories of people, they weren't satisfied with the service they got from someone else. Mm -hmm. So they started doing them themselves and they found a niche, uh, something that they loved. And it sounds like you're the same. Yeah, it's just crazy how it happened. And I just pivoted. I yeah. figured that out and started doing smaller stuff. You know, we started doing little baby showers, little birthday parties. And then we started doing our first weddings and then it just kept growing and growing. And 10 plus years later is where we at. Yeah. So over those 10 years, there must have been some uh, memorable experiences. Uh, yeah, a lot. Any particular thing stand out? I think the most memorable one was uh, October 15th. No, I'm sorry. August 15th, 2020. Uh -huh. um, it was the pandemic. So a lot of my weddings was canceled. Uh -huh. This one lady, she kept hers on the books because her mother was real sick. So her thing was she wanted her mama to see her married. And in coincidence, my father passed that same day while I was oh. at the wedding. So, you know, that's not a regular job where you can just leave. I still got to capture this lady day. So I had to shoot a wedding in the midst of getting a call that my father passed. And I know how important it is to her because she's a wedding coordinator. We've worked together before. So I knew her mother's situation. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to shoot that, to get through it, one, and yeah. to shoot it. And then her mother passed and a few months later, knowing that her mama got to see that. And I captured uh -huh. those moments. I think that was probably one of my most memorable and then, like, me and her also just got, like, a bond from that because we both, it was a traumatic day, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, her big day, then I lost my father, but her mother was able to see her be married before she passed on. So I think that would be probably my most memorable one. I can certainly see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a lot. Absolutely. So in your business, what are what are some of the challenges that you experience? Well, challenges now is being new to Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know, being a, um, sometimes being a new face in an old place helps, but sometimes people don't know who you are. See, back home, I'm super popular. Uh -huh. You know, what I mean? so the, the challenge I'm thinking is just getting into this network, just getting into the uh, and people that's here that don't know me. Uh -huh. So I think that's the biggest challenge because I think the drive and the hustle always been in me for all the stuff that I do. So that's not the part. I just tapping into a network while I'm unknown. Uh -huh. Cause you've been somewhere all your life. Like I used to play sports. I used to play basketball. So everybody in the area know me from something, you know, yeah. even sports or either from music. It's just for some anything. So being here, no one really knows me. Uh -huh. So my circle is so small. Just trying to build that up. Oh, okay. I think that's the biggest challenge I got right now. Okay, well, maybe we can help you with I that. I hope so. I, mean, I, think, I, think it'll, I think it'll work. Yeah. So, uh, over the years, there's probably been an odd request or two. Any particular things stand out? Only one. I, would, I mean, I don't even call it odd. It was odd to me. Now, we know everybody loved their pet. We have a family pet. He took over the house, his thing. I had a wedding, and the dog was in the wedding. Mm. And it was like she was so more concerned about the dog than any everybody else getting their appreciate. Make sure you get the dog coming down here. Make sure you get the dog this, this. And it was just like, but it's your wedding. You uh -huh. should focus on you a little bit more. She put more focus on the dog. That was one I think was one of the oddest things to me. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. You know, it's a woman's special day. This is the, the you know, most women dream about this as a kid. My wedding day is so beautiful. It's that third. She, her whole concern <laughs> is make sure her dog got good shots. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, whatever. It's the first for me. Never. <laughs> that's my first time ever hearing that request like that. Yeah. But we pulled it off. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what am I, what motivates you ride? Um, what motivates? That's a great question. I have multiple motivations. Like my biggest motivation, I would say, was my kids. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they, they see what I do. And being an entrepreneur is not for mm -hmm. me. You know, so to see them see what I do and I see them kind of lean towards it. Uh -huh. Like my oldest daughter, when she graduated high school, she said she wanted to start a t-shirt because I also do I also make t-shirts. So my goal, I was gonna give her like five hundred dollars congratulations, graduate high school. So instead of that, I got her a, a cricket machine, a heat press, vinyl, and about twenty shirts. And I, I gave her a business Ooh, for nice. uh for her graduation. And she's now a junior at Bowling Green State University and she's still making shirts to this day. Uh -huh. And then my youngest daughter, she's only a sophomore in high school, but she can edit video because I edit video. Yeah. Like, so all the stuff I do, they pick up. So I know they watch them. So I think that's my biggest motivation mm -hmm. to oh, my okay. kids. Yeah, great. So, you know, as with any uh, person that owns their own business, you know, it's pretty much 24-7. Yeah. But what do you do for fun? Uh, what I do for fun, I can travel. Uh -huh. uh, traveling is a big thing for me. That's my advice. I love to travel. I'm actually going out of town next week. We're doing a seven day cruise, so I can't wait to get on the boat. We haven't cruised since 2017. Mm -hmm. I suppose it went in 2020, but because of COVID, yeah. I wasn't able to go for my 40th birthday. So traveling is my thing. And as uh, far as like just not traveling, I like to just relax, man. Take my wife out on dates. We do like random flashcard dates just to keep it, you know, interesting. And I'm also into cigars. I also have my own cigars called Kasi Cigars. I have my own brand. So I go to different cigar herbs, different events. And uh, oh, uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's my thing. I'm, I'm not hard to please, man. I'm yeah. taking it easy. Wow, sound like you have a, a busy, well-rounded life. Yeah, it's definitely busy. It's uh -huh. definitely busy, but I wouldn't have it another way. I can't sit still. I feel like, a, you know, like I said, the shark, <laughs> if, you, if you stop moving, he dies. So that's how I feel. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, thanks for sitting with us for uh, a few minutes today. I thanks appreciate it. Thanks man. I appreciate you. Nice meeting you, Rod. Nice meeting you as well. Hey, folks, if you have a need for photography or even if just questions, hey, give Rod a call. Profarasi Photography. I'm Bill Adams with Caldwell Banker. Thanks for being here.